Muslim lady, Muslim man smoking? What is the rule in Islam? Audhu billahi min Puffing the devil. Puffing, smoke, inhaling, letting this devil go throughout your system, contaminating your heart, your brain, your blood, your organs with the devil. Wallahi, anyone that smokes, understand this. You are the brother of Satan. I once sat with a friend of mine, Muslim brother, and he was about a beard, 50 times as my size, <laughs> and muscles to make a lot like a cream. And then all of a sudden I was sitting with him and he pulled a cigarette out. I was absolutely just flabbergasted. This guy, he's got his loving box, his CDs and DVDs of all these speakers. Hence, Satanic bear. You know, I used to see when I was a child. You know the big posters with a man on here, the cowboy with a big hat and the, the lariat. Oh, what is the lariat? Cowboy in the saddle and the horse and he looks cool. Oh. Yeah, that guy, that guy, that guy died of cancer, I think. Well, he actually died due to smoking. Yeah, 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 Shabbat. Yeah, Shabbat. When all the says in the Quran, Inna al mubadirin kanu akhwan al shiatin. Listen carefully. The sedan, the rich, the extravagant, the extreme misdeed, spending money with no cause are the brothers of the statement of mine. The brothers of the devils. <coughs> so I said to the brother that pulls the cigarette out and blows my eyes away. Oh, the what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you the brother of the devil? I said to him, oh my, straight forward. Yes, take it easy, man. I, I said to him, are you the brother of the devil? Yes, sir, what are you saying? I'm praying my prayers on this. Allah says those who spend their money in this mannerism are the brothers of the devil. He immediately crushed it, crushed the whole packet. He had one left. If you see Munka, you change it! If you can know of your hand, with your tongue! That's Munka! When I was in Saudi Arabia, one of the ulama that taught us the Quran, he entered one of the circles of knowledge and he was a teacher for that circle. And I was with him. We went in there and we sat down and it was about 50 brothers. He began his introduction. Suddenly a man pulled out a cigarette. He's in front of me. So this shaykh, this alim, may Allah have mercy on him. Suddenly just stood up. He's talking, introducing his talk. Then he just suddenly stands up and goes outside. No one knows what is going on. So we follow him. He goes, I will not remain in a circle of knowledge or any circle where Allah is disobeyed. That was his response. He didn't say, What are you doing, brother? I was about that in front of everyone. No. He removed himself and he said, Until this person removes the filth in his hand, I will not come back. It is a major sin because you are first of all, you are spending that which you do not own. Allah gave you that money and you are throwing it in the devil's palm. Secondly, you are committing haram because you are killing yourself slowly but surely.